what you miss by being a Christian. Hell. Read how the Bible describes hell. A, number one, a lake of fire, Revelation 20, 15. A bottomless pit, Revelation 21. A horrible tempest, Psalm eleven six. A place of everlasting burnings, Isaiah 33, 14. A furnace of fire, Matthew 13, 42. A devouring, a devouring fire, Isaiah 33, 14. A place of torments, Luke 16, 23. A place of everlasting punishment, Matthew 25, 46, a place where people pray, Luke 16, 24, a place where people cry for mercy, Matthew 13, 42, a place where people wail, Revelation 16, 11, a place where people blaspheme, Revelation 20, 15, a, pl a place where people blaspheme God, a place where, a place of no forgiveness, Matthew 12, 32, a place of filthiness, Revelation 22, 11, a place of weeping, Matthew 8, 12, a place of sorrows, Psalm 18, 5, a place of outer darkness, Matthew 8, 12, a place where people have no rest, <coughs> Revelation 14, 11, a place where people gnaw their tongues, Revelation 16, 10, a place of blackness and darkness, Jude 13, uh, forever, Jude 13, a place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched, Mark 9.48, a place where people are tormented with fire and brimstone, Revelation 14.10, a place where, a place from which the smoke of the people's torment ascendeth up forever, Revelation 14.11, a place where people do not want their loved ones to go, Luke 16.28, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire, Revelation 20.15, the Bible asks in Hebrews 2.11, how shall we escape if we neglect so great? Salvation, if you choose to go to hell, do nothing. You have already done enough. For the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. The wicked shall be turned into hell, Psalm 9.17. If you choose to escape hell, you must do several things. First, you must believe you are a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. <clears throat> Second, you must believe you deserve to go to hell. Where, wherefore, as by one man sin entered in, into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans 5.12 The third thing that you must do is to repent of your sins. As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Ezekiel 33.11 You must also believe Jesus Christ, Christ died to pay for your sins, but God committed this love toward us. And that while we were yet, yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. Finally, you need to trust Jesus to be your Savior. But as many as received him, to them gave you power. To become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, John 1, 12, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, Romans 10, 9. Your biggest decision, Jesus has already paid in full the price for your eternal life. However, he leaves the final decision entirely up to you. So what will you do with Jesus Christ? Will you receive him or will you reject him? Jesus gives you this promise, He that believeth on, him, on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John three thirty six. So what do you miss by being a Christian? You miss going to hell, and you get to go to heaven. Amen, amen.